let me talk to you. Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy BQ. A few hot things going on in Impact Wrestling right now, so I wanted to talk on them and then get your guys uh, get your guys take as well. So let's see if we can make this real quick. Mauro Ronaldo, that's the real big news that he's going to be calling the main event at Slammiversary. Slammiversary uh, at Rebellion. If you guys remember when Matt Stryker and D'Lo came on board, I had told you guys there was something else in the works with commentary. Uh, to, to be clear, I didn't know what it was. I was hoping it had to do with him, to be honest with you. But I told you guys that something was coming with the commentary, something new, um, in addition to the current you know, commentary team, to the change. And you know, that's what it was. So he's gonna be doing the main event. The question is asked, is this a one-off? Is he gonna stick around? I know you guys want to know the answer to this. I had some dialogue about it. I, I'm not gonna get too much into detail about what I was told, but I will put it like this so that you guys can at least be semi-happy with the answer. It's open-ended, so it is not necessarily a one-off. Um, and that's all I'm really gonna say about it. Uh, it goes a little deeper than that, but um, the possibility is there, all right? so. Let's see how how uh, Rebellion goes. It should be really good because I think he's really good. I've uh, always been a fan of his work, listening to him across different uh, promotions and sports and everything. Really enjoying that. The pieces he did for YouTube, for Impact, for the, the five keys to Kenny Omega winning and the five for Rich Swan winning, like, beautiful. That's the kind of shit I'm saying I want to see on the freaking YouTube channel, you know? That's night and day from what they do right now. Also, uh, Nevaeh has been released. Um... They, she was released. She did not leave on her own accord. I think there's some confusion with that. I don't believe she wanted to go. I'm not on the impression that what happened. I do know a little bit uh, regarding that uh, behind the release, but I'm not really at liberty to talk about that. However, um, to my knowledge, she has only known about this for a short period of time. And I think, I, I don't know this for sure, but I think it's why Impact kind of rushed the match between her and Havoc. I did a whole YouTube upload on it. I had to delete it um, after she was released by saying, why are they rushing this match? Da -da 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 -da. You guys don't want to tell stories. Um, I think that's why they rushed it because I think they, they knew that the release was coming, uh, but I don't think she necessarily did. So I don't really know. I don't want to speak for her or anything like that, but you know, she has been released. I did want to throw it with Mauro Ronaldo since we're talking rumors and all that stuff. If you're seeing rumors online that um, AEW funded Mauro Ronaldo being there or it was their idea or they, they, uh, they're they the ones who are actually recruiting him or whatever. If you see anything like that, it's not true. This was impact driven um, and it, it 100% has nothing to do with AEW. So if you see that uh, rumor out there, it is not true. Now, if I'm flip-flopping on you guys, let's go back to the knockouts. Uh, more knockouts are coming. We so we know Ta Taylor Wilde is coming. There are two to three uh, new knockouts on the on the horizon. There's one that the rumor is out there, so I hope that one is true. I don't know who the other one is. I don't even know the rumor. Uh, I was told I should be happy with it though. And there might be a third one that's uh, it's up in the air. So there's there's. There's girls coming, and that doesn't include who they're gonna attempt to talk to from the WWE releases. So they are gonna do their due diligence and see who they can bring aboard. But aside from those, we can expect um, some new knockouts coming. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, still gotta review Hardcore Justice. I'm working an insane, insane, insane amount of hours. Um, so hopefully tomorrow is the day that I get it recorded and then release Sunday because then at that point it's just getting kind of old, right? So uh, that is it. That is it for me. For now, I'm BQ. I'm out. Peace.